What's up everyone? Welcome back to Own the Hunt. Doing a product review today on the new Pulsar Thermion 2 XL50 LRF. Stick around. Alrighty guys, before we get into this review, you know the drill. Gonna give a shout out to Logan at Fall River Shooters. Uh, Logan's got these scopes in stock, ready to ship to you. Uh, give him a call uh, or check him out on Facebook or his website, fallrivershooters.com. Be happy to talk to you and uh, earn your business. Let him know you came from the On The Hunt channel. Get yourself a free On The Hunt hat and some other swag. Another cool thing about ordering one of these from Logan is he is very, very good with the new ballistic calculator that's part of these scopes. It can be a little tricky to get set up and uh, Logan's got some videos on how to do that. Uh, if you purchase a scope from him, he'll get, get you uh, those videos and he'll do one-on-one uh, -on -one, one -on -one calls with you if you need it. Uh, help you guys get that set up and working for you and your ballistic data. Well, with that out of the way, guys, let's get into this review. Um, First things first, I'm very excited. Um, Pulsar has just released this scope as of uh, late October of 2023, and it's kind of a new, uh, new and exciting thing to the thermal industry. Um, we have their new HD um, 1024 by 768 sensor, and uh, this thing is really cool, you guys. It's uh, it's really pushing the limits on uh, what what we are able to do with thermal optics as of right now. This scope has a 1.75 base magnification. I know a lot of people out there are talking about it. You know, is it enough base mag? Um, I'm a coyote hunter. I don't think I'm going to like it. Uh, here's the thing, you guys. Uh, I'm just going to get this right out, right off off my chest, off the bat. Uh, I was one of you. I I felt the same way. Um, 1.75 is definitely a uh, low base mag. It's definitely not your traditional coyote hunter scope. It's much more of a hog hunter scope, close quarter scope. But what I can tell you guys is this scope truly does hold its magnification, hold its image clarity through magnification extremely, extremely well. Um, I've never seen a scope that can hold its clarity like this one as you magnify it up digitally. Uh, it really is truly a pleasure to use. It's a pleasure to look through. Uh, probably it is the best thermal image I've ever seen. Um, it tops the Halo XRF that I looked through quite a bit and it truly is the scope to beat right now. The other thing guys is price on this thing. You're looking at $79.99.99. So $8,000 for this scope. Uh, seems like a lot of money and it is a lot of money. But you gotta consider some things. You're getting laser range finding, you're getting a new high definition thermal sensor, the second highest thermal sensor available on the market, only second to the IRA uh, RS75, which is like $18,000. Um, so this is coming in at way less than that, and that iRay does not have a built-in laser rangefinder. It's extremely user-friendly, and so, you know, you get a lot with this scope. Uh, superior audio quality, superior video output quality. This scope has one of the highest video outputs I've ever seen on a scope. Uh, I've taken video with it took it off, put it on my computer, and just been blown away by the amount of detail in the video, um, which is to be expected a little bit given the higher um, resolution on that on that thermal sensor. So you guys, this scope is literally identical to all the Thermions on the market. Um, the body is the same, uh, the features are the same, the batteries are the same. So I'm not really gonna go into a whole lot of detail as far as like, you know, the scope itself. I'll kind of quickly touch on some things. Um, you know, you've got your basic uh, navigation menu back here. It has your um, your record, your laser rangefinder, and your magnification button. Um, on the back, you've got your diopter focus ring. On the top, you have your battery port, door, cover, 
This is the APS-2 battery that ships with it. It also ships with an APS-3 battery and an extended battery cover because the APS-3 battery is a slightly longer battery. On this side here, you've got your um, data charge port and your data transfer port, as well as your microphone array, which is right here. Um, just note, you'll wanna put this cover on really, really tight get it on there and then um, give it a really good twist so that the word or the letters are perfectly straight. Otherwise, you're gonna be blocking the microphone from picking up the audio through these little lines, these little uh, cutouts right here. The scope doesn't ship with rings, you guys. This is nothing new. Pulsar has been not shipping their Thermions with rings really since they came out. It's kind of a bummer. What I have right here is a standard uh, 30 millimeter rings. This is a Burris um, PEPR, I believe it's called. Hopefully the camera will focus, yeah. A Burris PEPR, it's a quick disconnect mount, works really nice, uh, relatively inexpensive, right around $100 or something like that. And Logan does sell those at Fall River Shooters, so you can get in touch with him for that as well. Um, next, guys, we have the laser rangefinder housing up top. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus today. It's really driving me nuts. There it is. So we've got the laser rangefinder housing up top. That's this whole housing up here that kind of protrudes up above the scope. We've got the ambidextrous focus ring. So that is on both sides of the scope. Really, really nice. Got the spring-loaded lens cap protector that I love so much. It comes all the way back around on the scope and you can twist it to whichever side of the scope you like. Flip it back open, there you go. Um, aside from that, you guys, you got your power button here, and that's really it. Um, the menu navigation wheel and the menu select button is here, and it's simple, guys. It really is a simple scope. It works tremendously well. Um, truly, truly, truly cannot, cannot say enough about the image quality on this scope you guys that's what you're all here for it is the nicest scope i've really ever looked through it blows me away every time i look through it the clarity the environmental detail it's a sub 35 millikelvin netd rating so it's got it's not it's not your lowest netd rating these days you guys most scopes are, are pushing the limits of 20 sub 20 millikelvin netd ratings um, and even pulsar's pro sensor is a sub 25 millikelvin Calvin sensor so this is certainly not their their most sensitive sensor um, but it's a little bit better than their sub 40 millikelvin sensor it does really really well in uh, in humid conditions I took it out in uh, a little bit of a mist the other night and it really held up well the image quality was was really good um, stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with really pretty much everything I've looked through with a sub 20 millikelvin sensor so no worries there I think you're gonna be happy um, exact exactly like how does it compare is is really hard because you kind of really got to be side by side with another scope with a lower rating in those you know conditions at the same exact time so it's hard to compare unless you've got another scope side by side with the same conditions but uh, it does a really really good job very happy with it pulsar is saying the detection range on this is 2300 meters um, totally totally accurate I would say even possibly more at times this scope is able to reach out there and really pull in a heat signature from unbelievably far away um, the rangefinder detection or the rangefinder ability isn't as good as some on the market it's a 800 meter rangefinder detection um, the reality of that guys is like do you really need a range find something that's much beyond that? I mean, you got a coyote that's hung up at four or 500 yards and you wanna know, uh, you know where it stands, if you can even take a poke at it. That's really what I'm using a range finder for, for the most part. Um, it's nice to know your tree lines and things like that, but if a tree line's you know beyond 800 meters, does it really matter at that point? So kind of that's, that's the deal. Um, works extremely well. You can put the range finder in scan mode just by uh, pressing and hold the laser range finding button Button on the scope uh, another feature about these scopes which I didn't really know about it's been on all the pulsar senses um, once you press your zoom button which is this button right here it's a little plus up on top of the um, turret uh, the uh, button housing once you press that uh, to magnify your image if you just press it once lightly and then you go ahead and scroll 
forward with the uh, side navigation wheel, that will slowly step your zoom or your magnification um, up by two tenths of an interval each time you, you scroll forward. So you can kind of really granularly zoom in. You don't have to go to those uh, high stepped magnification uh, levels like, you know, 1.75, 3.5, 7, and then 14, and then that's and that's how this scope works. It's a it's a 14 power max, and they're all digital resolution or digital magnifications. And um, even at 14 power, guys, this thing, honestly, I mean, yes, it's it's definitely a more grainy image. It doesn't it doesn't look as good, but it's pretty darn good. I mean, you could totally identify your animal on a much lower magnification, and if you wanted to bump it right up so you knew exactly where you're putting that, that crosshair, it's pretty pretty impressive, even at 14 power. So, um, really, really love this scope, you guys. Don't have really, geez, I don't have anything bad to say about this one. The only thing bad, it's big, it's heavy, it's bulky, it's long, um, doesn't come with rings, but aside from that, man, Pulsar ships it with two batteries, which is awesome. Um, the other thing that no one's talking about, you guys, is this scope comes with a remote control and it is sweet. I, again, my camera's not focusing. I'm really sorry. Hopefully I can get it to focus. What What is going on here? All right, it does not want to focus, but this remote comes with the scope. It is Bluetooth capable. The scope has a Bluetooth menu. You go into Bluetooth, you hit pair. This thing's automatically Paired to the scope, it's it's ready, but you do have to go into the scope and go down and, and choose it in the menu. Once you do that, um, you can navigate the menus with this. You can change your contrast, your brightness, you can change uh, your color palette. You can uh, magnify the scope with this. You can do um, granular magnification with this. You can activate your laser range finder with this. You can power off the scope with this. You can put the scope in standby. Guys, there's really nothing that you can, can, that you can do with the scope that you can't do with this remote and I love that the only thing you really can't do and obviously this would be this would take a lot of you know motors and things like that but you can't focus the scope with the remote which whatever so be it you can literally do everything else um, start stop recording it's just a very very cool thing to have and I've thoroughly tested it and it works really well um, the scope ships with a few pieces of um, Velcro, just like some cheap, not cheap actually, it's really nice high-end Velcro, and it works um, to mount your scope um, remote to either your tripod or the side of your rifle rail, something like that. Um, Logan is working on possibly printing up a 3D printed uh, housing or a clip mechanism for this, so stay tuned for that. Um, that may be something you can purchase after the fact through Logan. But the remote is a super cool feature and no one's really talking about it. Um, it's just, it amazes me how such a simple thing can make using the scope that much more fun. Um, you, you don't have to reach up on the scope and fiddle with things in the dark. You can literally just keep this remote in your hand. It's very ergonomic and, um, you know, actuate features on the scope it's it's really cool it's genius and i hope they continue putting them out with their new scopes uh from here on out regardless of whether they're a 1024 scope or a 640 scope or even their 384 scopes i think the remote is well worth keeping um and it, it's probably worth even paying a little extra for i mean it's, it's a very cool thing so scope also comes with your typical rubber eye cup um, with the the magnetic insert so it kind of just immediately magnetizes itself whoop, magnetizes itself to the scope and then you just have to kind of help you know finagle it into place but once it's there it's there um, it also comes like I mentioned it comes with an APS-3 battery um, if you guys haven't seen those I'll go ahead and show you the size difference a comparison of what those look like so you've got your APS-2 on right here and your APS-3 right here and you can see they're about a three quarter to a half an inch to a three quarter height difference um, and the scope does ship with a taller scope cap I can show you that as well um, so that if you decide to run the APS-3 battery over the APS-2 
you can swap out caps. Now I know what you're thinking, if you're out in the field and you're hunting, not only do you have to carry the second battery they send with it, but you also have to carry its corresponding cap. And yes, that's true. Because if you use the short battery with the tall cap, you're gonna have issues with the battery coming disconnected inside the scope from recoil or just moving around. And obviously the short cap doesn't work with the tall battery. So if you're going out, you wanna extend your battery life by a couple hours, not only do you have to take the second battery with you, but you gotta take the second, the uh, taller cap with you. And uh, that's just kind of like dumb in my opinion. I don't know why Pulsar wouldn't have sent two APS-2s and just said, hey, if you, if you buy an APS-3 in the future, we also include the tall cap or vice versa, include two APS-3s. I don't care, just like it's silly to have to take a cap and a battery with you and swap both while you're in the field in the dark that to me is just kind of dumb don't really know why they did that but hey at least they included a second battery this time um <laughs> we're moving closer to where i want to be with what they include with their scopes for the money um pulsar if you're listening i still don't know why you don't ship your scopes with any type of mount or rings it is definitely a bummer you're really the only manufacturer out there that's not including some sort of mounting mechanism for your scope so um definitely work on that pulsar but aside from that you guys uh you get your your dual bay charger that everyone knows about um and that will charge both the aps3 and the aps2 batteries side by side and you get your cable for data transfer and charging that works really really nice and that is it obviously you get the nice travel case that comes with all of the pulsar units so with that said guys i'm going to leave this video um at the end with some footage that i recorded from the scope keep in mind i haven't had this scope for very long i didn't get to to have it in my hands as long as i would have liked um, i have to sh send this one back to logan um, it's going to either be a demo for sale or he may keep it i'm not sure yet but um just know that I don't have a lot of footage at the end of this video. These are really just my thoughts. If you want to know what I really think, you guys, the scope is well worth the money. It truly, truly is the nicest image I have looked through. Um, all of the features you're getting, just Pulsar quality. Um, yeah, it's a three-year warranty. A lot of people talk about how the warranty hasn't stepped up, whereas everyone else in the industry is really pushed up into that five-year warranty mark. Look, it's Pulsar. You don't really need to say much more. Um, they're just quality and they stand behind their products three years is a pretty long time for something electronic um yeah i, I just don't think you're gonna have problems their quality is there um, i would totally buy this scope and and have no qualms about it so if you have the money and you want quality and you want a superb image and a scope that is very very feature uh, rich and packed full of options this is it you guys not to mention the ballistic calculator um, that is a really cool feature if you're not aware of what that does you guys um, the stream vision ballistics app you download it on your phone um, when you click the laser rangefinder button uh, the scope gets a range and it puts a dot in your reticle exactly where you need to aim. Um, you don't have to guess your holds anymore, nothing like that. The scope does it for you. It's really incredible and like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Logan has done extensive testing with that. He's found some pain points that may be difficult for customers, you know, um, configuration wise and getting it set up and working how you like. And so he has a lot of knowledge around the ballistic calculation app. And so if you purchase through Logan, he'd be more than happy to work with you, get that working how you want it and uh, help you through any of your, your growing pains uh, as you're trying to set that up. So um, definitely a little bit of an incentive to let Logan try to earn your business. At least give him a call and uh, see what he can do for you. But that's pretty much it, you guys. Really, really love this scope. Pulsar hit it out of the park, you guys. The base mag is a little low, but once you use the scope, you get used to it. Um, and the three and a half power in the picture in picture is just superb. I mean, it's really the best of all worlds. You've got your lower base mag, so you have a massive field of view. Um, and then the image clarity just stays so good when you magnify that 
it truly is a is a versatile scope. It can be used to take uh, on hog hunts, to take on long range coyote hunts. It is just a do it all scope, and I can't stress that enough, you guys. If you're in the market and you've got the money, this is the one. Until next time on On the Hunt, guys. We'll see you later. zoom in with picture in picture. It's like uh, maybe three. Okay, so it's two tenths at a time uh, per scroll of the scroll wheel for that picture. Keep your base and then have a nice zoom with your picture in picture. That's really nice. Thank <laughs> you. 